You were mixing uh, random things together, trying to create ice. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking uh, stuff that looked good, and it all kind of blew up. So there was a pressure cooker, <laughs> and it was making a whistling sound, and you knew that was wrong. So you took a big weight and stuck it on top. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, is, you, you guys, you guys will um, maybe see her again. Maybe she'll, she'll show up as a, as a conjurer. She's only a first level alchemist. She could be retrained. What's your other class? Uh, aristocrat. That could be trained. Oh god. Could be a conjurer alchemist. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Is she dumb? Tell me she's dumb. Nope. Damn. <laughs> All right, so Thalana uh, Slate Vein, I'm just going to drag off into the NPC section. Everybody's going to hate your summons because they're all ugly. As when you have a master who can buy and sell you, um, he's going to take a good deal when he's offered. He doesn't have any attachments to you, to you people. And she didn't do a whole lot in that last fight. In 18, oh no. Yeah, Thalana, Thalana's int is 16, and she's got two more ability points away from 84 that she could train. So she could be an 18 int. It's more than respectable. All right. Um, the next person to come and join you, or to open up the, um, the, to the door, is... Uh, do I have his miniature on here? No, I don't. Dreaden Circus. Token Library. We have a bard with a 20 int. Mark, did you roll a bard with a 20 int? No. Who's the bard with the 20 int? I like bards. Mm, Caravan of Sorrow. Why does it have no characters? I don't. Why am I so behind? Ah. <sighs> Work, work. <laughs> it's an old joke. Uh, bork stoppers. Um, uh... <laughs> All right. There's Joram the Hin and Bortho. It is Bork, Bork. Uh, along with Old Whitey and a bunch of soldiers. <clears throat> um. These two soldiers, Roger and uh, the Imperial soldier, open up the door, and you notice that uh, uh, these are people that you have seen as part of the Caravan of Sorrow that you've been traveling on. You know that Bortho is a slave. He, he looks after the foodstuffs of the caravan. Does he ever? <laughs> uh, he, he comes in and says, um, uh, I got fresh... Uh, I got fresh tunics for you, he says. Here you go. Praise be to the old gods, as he says. He looks over his over his shoulder to make sure the soldiers uh, aren't there after he said what he said. Give me that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, uh, as well as we've got some leather braces for, for the new gladiators. Awesome. Uh, yes. Are they like? Are... I'm short, but I'm really broad around the chest, so you need a little bit extra, you know. He, he nods like that didn't change anything that he was going to do. He just gave like six tunics and you, your tunic you're just going to have to like chop up around the end because it, it, it's like Gimli's... Uh, it's it's like to... it's down to freaking knees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, like... It's, it's like Gimli trying on the human size chainmail, like like yep. that, that scene. Uh, Bortho then says, Oh, I also uh, managed to convince the master to um, allow you to each have a apple with your breakfast this morning. When he gives you, he reaches into a bag and gives you each an apple. Oh, uh, take it. Hey. Congratulations. I was cheering for you. I was cheering very hard to the, to the old gods for you. Why, why are you still here? Uh, the cord was listening. Apparently when you touch the pillars, the gods talk to you. 
Yes, your services are no longer required, says uh, Joram the Hin, who is a, um, a perfumed hin in a, in a neat but uh, uh, plain robe with a bit of trim. Um, he does wear a plaque on it. It's made out of bronze. Um, it's got some inscriptions in it that you don't understand. Um, Bortho is sent off. Apparently there is a hierarchy even amongst the hired help. Old Whitey is there as well. He just He's holding on to what looks like, a, like an old scroll made out of vellum. Uh, and he's just waiting, as uh, as Joram is ticking things off of a off of a list. Um, unfortunate, you're only five. But the master will pick up some others when we're in the slave market. Hopefully, we won't lose any of you along the way. I wanted to stop by to congratulate you. Becoming a gladiator is no small thing. Heck. Some of you may even survive. Maybe even survive to, um, see an end to your captivity. Know that those who do not swear the gladiator's oath today, before the old gods and the new, will be, sla will be sold into the most depraved slavery. There are some very tricky minds, you see, that this master owns. Well, the masters whose territory we're in, whose shack, you have been given for the evening. Should you wish to spend your days there, you will screw up the oath that you are about to take. I wanted to give you a chance to say this now to save any embarrassment. Embarrassment, of course, as a slave. Okay, means at this point, Snowbeard's whippings. starting to hork at the biggest loogie he can. <laughs> Do it, I dare you. And he taps the end of his uh, feather pen against uh, against his bronze tablet. To strike me is to strike the master directly. He spits right in his face. It's big, snotty lug. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I had a little something. <laughs> It's just dripping down his face. Yeah. <laughs> processing. <laughs> processing. <laughs> processing. <laughs> well, old white, he has done this before. I'm sure that he can... He waits a little bit of it as going near his mouth. Um, I'm sure that he could um, bring you all through it again. Uh, uh, bring this group... Whatever, he's all flustered. And he, <laughs> he, he, wa he wanders off. You notice he, he stops, he does wipe his face, he turns around, he looks at he looks at Snowbeard and writes something down, and then and then wanders off. You know, you're not all bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was not wise of you, uh um dwarf. I thought your people were wise. Yeah, it comes and goes. I would expect some sort of retort. Um, special is that slave. He gets to um, dine and tend to the master directly. Uh, not all of us have a station such as him. You're yet to be a gladiator. I would heed his words, at least the words of do not screw up the incantation. That is why I have brought this scroll for you. He does not hand it to the dwarf. He hands it to Sam, who is eagerly standing at the front. <laughs> uh, what does the scroll say? I'm going to paste what it says, although I'm not going to read it out loud, because that's going to be your job in a moment. Interesting. Where Don't are you fuck it up. It? Uh, in chat. Okay. All righty, then. What the crappy kind of both is this shit? I guess I've already some of this have already been dirt. So. <laughs> it is written in um uh Stygian common as well as Imperial common. Do not be a wise ass and say the words insert name. <laughs> Place your name in exchange for these characters. You have okay. at least an hour before how... <laughs> what 
He's surprised has no beard is still alive. Yeah. He he pissed Everyone's off another surprised. slave. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, no, it's 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 fine. Uh uh Sam will make certain that I don't th I don't think we've understood like uh uh Sam might be concerned that like Ugg is a moron a little bit. Like he doesn't yet know how smart Ugg is. Yep. So he's and Sam is not too bright himself. So, him, he's going to try to get Ugg to practice with him. <laughs> to make certain we don't screw it up. <laughs> or I can read. Oh. That's what he says. Hey, you guys got to help me here. I think of what I want to change my name to. What do you want to change your name to? Well, that's what I'm thinking. I need a good one. It's going to be my gladiator name. Uh... Young Pepe, how's it going? A, a nom de guerre? Oh, it don't matter. What the hell, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I need a name. I don't need a gnome. We just lost our gnome. Simon? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you earn your gladiator name later and just simply use your own well, name? Because I gotta use it in my thing. <laughs> the blue dwarf. That's silly. Blue dwarf. Blue balls. No, no one's gonna be afraid of that. I need like a. It is one of the most frightening things. Ugg <laughs> <laughs> is now reading the scroll. Um, Holy crap! Look at that. <laughs> Dear Grover Ash. Grover Ash. It's like, isn't that something the ass? <laughs> Ugg can speak uh, both Stygian common and Imperial common. Wh which one? Uh, I think either. Okay. Uh, uh, Sam also knows both. <clears throat> Uh, I'll read it in Stygian. Yeah. It's one of those things. Uh, don't screw it up, apparently. Because it causes you to go to a mine. Although maybe Beardo over there wants to go to a mine. <laughs> I, I do not mind Beardo. It sounds like weirdo. But with beard, <laughs> says Edward, can we name you for you? <laughs> beard, though. Can I slap the taste out of your mouth? <laughs> I do not know, but you can try. <laughs> Edward was pretty impressive in the last fight. I don't know how much you want to... Uh, 11 strength out. You saved your ace. Yep. Um... Okay, uh, Edward doesn't put on the tunic because he's got leather armor on still. He'll put on the bracers or whatever those are. Okay, uh, the tunic is just like a Like a shirt? rough spun tunic, yep. Does it go on over armor or? It can go under on the over armor. armor. Yeah. yeah. Put it on under or over the armor and then put the bracers on because they look badass. Okay. Uh, so I'll put, what, like body slot? Tunic, armor slot, leather, uh, wrists. Leather There's bracers. A name for those things. Leather bracers. bracers. Leather bracers. <laughs> and I'm just going to put symbolic on the thing because they don't actually do anything. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they don't do much. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, old Whitey eventually has the guards open the door again. They ask for the scroll back. <laughs> He could change his name to Death to the Five Face God. Um, yeah, he 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 could. <laughs> Shnee bastard. Shnee bastard. <laughs> All right. Oh, Whitey's got it there. I will hold out the scroll if you cannot remember the words. Snow bastard's uh, pretty good. 
the snow bastard is pretty good. <laughs> snow bastard. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, no, uh, yeah, well, that might be useful if you hold out the scroll. Hmm. All right, there are a gathering of guards, including, um, including, um, Roger, um, uh, Roger, um, Master Conjurer Gezadax, as well as Amicles. They do bring you into the, uh, the four pillars once more. Um, and. Correct. It, Snowbeard sounds like a bullshit name anyway, so, yeah. It, it, it is, yeah. It's just a name. <laughs> You do not see Thalana, and you do not see um, Edwin. Um, this th there are some miners maybe eating their breakfast that are like watching it, but it doesn't draw as many people as uh, uh, as the actual games themselves. Um, there is a small font that is set up, like a like a table with a bunch of symbols of the old god. It, prominent amongst them is the symbol of the five faced god. Um, it's kind of like an idol of the five-faced god. It's like the statue head, but with like five faces kind of like uh, faceted around uh, the front part of the statue. Um, there is a priest there. Um, two of them, in fact. One of them is quite clearly of the five-faced god. Another one looks like it's of various den denominations of uh, old gods. Um, uh, both good and evil. Uh, it's a strange... It's a strange sort of thing that happens when you force all uh, all religions of an old pantheon to worship in the same place. And the Master Conjurer is there, and Zamicles is there. Uh, Zamicles comes down. Apparently, he has he has like somehow wiggled his way into doing a lot of the speaking at this place, whereas when you were at the uh, Crypt Head, the Necromancers did the. Um, yeah. Uh, well, the necromancer yeah. needs a high charisma to, you know, control all of his zombers. Yeah. But the the conjurer doesn't need charisma for nothing. On this auspicious day, he smiles, seeing money signs in his, in his eyes as he's looking at the five of you that survived. He probably already made a bunch of money off of Thelani. You don't know the details of the deal yet. Maybe you never will. Um, we have gathered here today amongst these auspicious pillars of an ancient realm. And before the, the old gods and the five-faced god, praise be to their names. We will induct and raise these slaves from lowly slavery into the upper echelons of slavery and call them gladiator. You do notice that there is a fire pit with somebody with a brand, five of them, that are smoking in, or that are, like, heating up uh, in the uh, in the fire itself. Apparently they have no tattoo artists, so they're going to burn the brand onto you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Might I ask you to step forward, one at a time, and recite the gladiator's oath? You notice that Joram's there. You could hear a happy clap from the fat Bortho. Uh, old Whitey is actually there where he said he would be. You notice that he, he looks to the priest of the many gods and the many the, the, the priest of the many gods in his funny hat with a bunch of symbols like hanging down like little sombrero beads. Um, the five-faced god just... Or the priest of the five-faced god just simply looks like this is like not wor worth him getting out of bed for. Uh, and he's actually yawning while this is going on. Sam will step forward first. Um, old Whitey does ask permission, almost just with a with a with a nod of his head to step forward. He holds up he holds out the scroll that he, that he let you guys read ahead of time. Okay. I will repaste in the chat just so we we're fresh on. I made a copy that threw it in a notepad uh, that I even replaced <laughs> okay. insert name with my own name just so I don't fuck it up. <laughs> uh, uh, but I will repaste it. Uh, this is under. Is like if I if I do any prep, it will be I create a map and I write an oath. <laughs> okay, Sam, everyone's everyone's there. Everyone's quiet. He he says it loudly, as loud as he can. I, Samuel Stonefist, will endure to be burned, to be bound, to be beaten, and to be killed by. Spell or sword in the name of the old gods of Tarak and the five faced god. I, I swear this oath. Okay. Let the blessings 
of the Imperium pass upon this slave and rise him from gl from s status of slave to gladiator and uh, you're being ushered forward they get you to uncover one of your gladiator bands on the left hand side and then they burn your flesh with the brand <laughs> For one point of fire damage. <laughs> ah. You then are asked to stand just off to the side um, uh, where some of the priests give give basically blessings. Um, the five face god basically cream. basically puts <laughs> basically puts his hand, his palm in your in your face, because five fingers for the five face god, uh, and then um, I know summon all the talk to the hand jokes. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other one says some various blessings in in, uh, in in response to the pantheon. And old Whitey just basically is waiting for the next person to come use forward. Use aloe vera. Just mm -hmm. say it. <laughs> Edward steps forward. It is better than living in a mine, is what he says to the others. Uh, hey. Ugg kind of goes, <laughs> kind of shrugs at that. I, Edward Raven Erst, will endure to be burned, to be bound, to be beaten, and to be killed by spell or sword. In the name of the old gods of Tarak and the Five Face God, I swear this oath. Um, his different inflections don't seem to bother them very much. Of course, the gladiatorial arenas don't really discriminate against who may fight and die there. Well, in fact, they, they kind of prefer them to be more weird. The weirder you are, the funnier you talk. And Edward, now officially in the eyes of the Imperium, uh, there is somebody writing in a book, um, has now passed from um, um, enemy combatant slave into, uh, into that of a gladiator. Arlen looks nervous. He prays to Freya and takes a step forward. I, Arlen Weiss, will endure to be burned, to be bound, to be beaten, and to be killed by spell or sword. In the name of the old gods of Tarak and the five-faced god, I swear this oath. Forgive me, Freya, is what he says quietly to himself at the end. Uh, they don't seem to care that he added something at the end. Um, they do burn him, so Edward got burned or branded for two damage. And Arlen also is receiving his own gladiatorial brand. And he no longer is considered enemy combatant slash slave. He is now a gladiator. Uh, looks to Snowbeard. Quiet, big guy. Okay, he limps forward. He's still kind of clutching onto his arm that still smarts. After that day of rest, he restored one one dex damage. Uh, I, Ugg, will endure to be burned, to be bound, to be beaten, and to be killed by spell or sword. In the name of the old gods of Tarak and the five-faced god, I swear this oath. They have to push the brand in really tough <laughs> for for Ugg. <laughs> they leave it. They leave it there for a few extra seconds. Ugg kind of <laughs> he grins under the pain and he receives three damage. And then old Whitey gives you a quizzical look. You could see murmuring from Joram the ham off to the side. Yeah. Old Whitey, like, I hope he fucks this up. <laughs> He's giving you that sort of look. Zamicles looks, <clears throat> Zamicles looks pleased with himself. Like, he's come here and made money, maybe? I'll, uh, I'll take the oath using my new gladiator name. You should use your legal name. Or the name of your people. Or the, the name, name of my pe the hell are you talking about? This is my new legal name. Change my name. Because I done said so. I, Zama Cold Jerem the Thunderlipped Ice Bastard, 
will endure to be burned, to be bound, to be beaten, and to be killed by a spell or sword in the name of the old gods and... Oh, shit. There we go. Uh, of Tarak and the, you know, the five-faced god. I swear this over. Okay, there's some blinking. You notice a man with a book comes over and he's pointing at the book and says, That is not your name. Your name well, that, listed here is Snowbeard. Well, that's not my name either. The name that was given to you by your master is Snowbeard. That is your legal name in the Imperium. You will recite the oath with your legal given name. Well, how do I change my name to Zamakol Jerem the Ice Lift? <laughs> the Thunderlift Ice Bastard. That's much better, Gladiator. It, it is not my problem. <laughs> Whatever you call yourself in your gladiatorial ludus will be up to your new masters. Uh, Recite the oath. Or else. Somebody in chat was mentioning hero points. I'm not quite certain what it would do, but. <laughs> just as I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so the 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 officials <laughs> check. A Wait a second, that's not his name. That's not his legal name. <laughs> it's like, ooh, you gave you gave the guy with the book of names something to do. <laughs> ooh, Zem in here. Zemocles just just like cocks his head off to the side. Like, really? You you want to go back to the mines? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Whitey's just shaking his head. Like, just, just, just read, just read your name. <laughs> okay. Give me a second, guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's decide what the hero point would do. The weird use of a hero point. Somebody, somebody's suggesting a post Christmas check for a name. Uh. Man, I need him to speak in that squeaky witch voice. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that's the Gel voice. I, I did a whole yeah, campaign with that. I one. like the Gel no, voice. That's fine. Uh... Oh, yeah, you're just saying, saying you have... I have it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, they did give him one chance. They were like, nope, that's not your name. You can't You can't wiggle your way out of this. This is your you can't name. can't do it, so give up now. <laughs> just say your name. Or be an obstinate jackass. They'll brand you in the freaking eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Snowbeard the one eye. Ah, uh, just why? It's, it's. I have a feeling he's gonna push boundaries. He's gonna push, and it's gonna be. He's gonna push, and he's gonna push. He's it, he's pushing. It, it's funny, you guys. You, they're are <laughs> slashy McSword face. <laughs> Spit all over <laughs> Bodie McBoat face. Ah, <laughs> uh, funny. No, you can have Gnome de Guerres all up the wazoo. This is your le this they want you to swear a legal oath. Snowbeard. Snowbeard is what was is what is what is what is on his character sheet. It is what he was known by when he was captured. He may have a, a real name that his parents named him. To the people who run the slavery, though, they don't care. They don't really care. <laughs> but when oaths are spoken before the gods, you will use the name we gave you, damn it. <laughs> There's nobody here that is sympathetic, aside from Zamacles, who spent money on Snowbeard. There's nobody here that's sympathetic towards his case. Just such a oh my god! Well, imagine yep. oh, you're pushing yep. your boundaries and just trying to find out where they are. Oh yeah! And you're a dwarf, so you've been putting up with this for like sixty years or whatever. Just enough's enough. And that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> I snowbeard the scene now. You know they might actually accept that, given that you know you said snowbeard. Great. Yep. <laughs> Well, what was the nickname that was given to him? It was Snowbeard the Sniveling. He was the Sniveling, yeah. Yeah. He had the sniffles. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you were pointing out the old man smack him before he says it. Quack. <laughs> Quack. Snowbeard makes a run for it with his 20 speed as a dwarf. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> what does he think he's doing? I can see in the dark. <laughs> It's the middle of the day, man. <laughs> Running away. It's 1130. Uh. Oh, dude. <laughs> My face hurts, man. My this face hurts from grinning like a jackass. Uh. You guys did really well against those uh, summon creatures. That was... Uh... Oh, there was a couple of really good crits. Just, oh, crit! Crit! Make the kitty go away! <laughs> Boom! Because mm-hmm. <laughs> if that cat got to pounce on on, Ar- on Arlen, he died. Or even a full-round attack on Arlen, he died. Okay, I'll, I'll take a, I'm going to take a bio break then while we're waiting for Mark. Um, we'll synchronize the bladders and whatnot. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get myself something to drink too. Mark Boom 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 Oh jeez. Big boss nemesis summon eighteen. Mark really likes to push it. He really does. He does so much. It's funny because he, he's <laughs> synchronized. The, the colloquial name for that kinta is synchronized pissing. Um, you know, you have to make patterns, and you know, they have to be careful not to cross the streams. Um, <laughs> So I guess a hero point, what would a hero point do? A hero point would allow him just to get through the scene by saying whatever, (laughs) whatever his name was. Uh, It it could allow him a bonus on a diplomacy or charisma check to seem earnest in his assertion that he wants to use the real name. That that is indeed his real name and that they've got it wrong. And a villain point would probably mean... Do something bad to him? <laughs> yeah, something bad would happen, or they don't believe him, or or he gets sent to the mines. <laughs> yep. Um, the thing is, it's not even like he... He didn't even start with, my real name is. He said, no, my new name is. I just decided I got a new name, and it's Bob. <laughs> Bob, you're a butthead. <laughs> this is my new name. <laughs> That's not how it works. So, immigration officers, like, like I'm talking in 16, 1700s, <laughs> who just write something down and give it oh, to you. <laughs> dude, my family, my, like, my, my, my family, as in, like, my grandpa, his family came across from mostly Germany. He was from Scotland, but he was adopted, whatever. Um, they got four different fucking names because when you came to Canada, the immigration dude wrote down your name for you. So you had a guy speaking German to a guy who spoke Irish or you know Gaelic or English or whatever, and just you, so you end up with Mac and Mock and Mock and all sorts of shit. It's all spelled wrong. My name is not actually like it should have been spelled M A or M A C H, but it's just. <laughs> and then Mock he gets would, scattered Mock across would. Canada because you showed up and you get you, everybody got off the train in a different spot and you try to find each other again. <laughs> Cutting on his tongue would be so awful <laughs> in a role playing game where you're supposed to role play someone. <laughs> Having the I mute see. character is really God. is really. Um, this is 
It was what happened. It was it could be the whole <laughs> he just, song. He, he just, just speaks all so drooly. Yeah, that is a bitch. Oh yeah, I mean, bunch of bullshit. Fuck you. I love my bullshit. Oh no. This is a bunch of bullshit. Fuck you. Just take the tip of your tongue and keep it on the top of your palate and talk. Right? All right, I threw it on. So much crap. I hate these people. That's what I want. It might actually increase his lifespan. <laughs> Foxfire. Using villain points to... Uh... <laughs> to help the characters. Yep. Um, yeah, that's actually not a bad use of villain point. If he screws up one more time, um, we'll see. No, screw up. <laughs> screw up right. is funny. Screw up implies an unintended consequence. Because <laughs> it's, I, I gave, I'm giving you guys a choice to read a thing, but really there is no choice unless you want something bad to happen to your character or to the guy that you're controlling for tonight. It could happen. You, you'll learn a lesson at what happens when you know you screw up. Things in a, an official uh, capacity. How serious the Imperium takes this kind of crap. <clears throat> the question is, is it more serious or less serious than touching a conjurer? Right. And it was not even a true conjurer. It was some lad that we were upset with anyway. And, and, so... it, and, it, and it touched him in a way that was actually quite gentle. Yep. Okay, so Snowbeard, you're being told that your legal your legal given name at the time of uh, of your acquisition, which is the date that you got knocked over the head and sold into slavery, uh, um, is Snowbeard. All right, fine then. And we and, and the chat and I have discussed what would happen if they spent villain points. <laughs> 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 There's some bad things. <laughs> Fine, man. I, Snowbeard, like that's a real name, will endure to be burned, to be bound, to be beaten, and to be... Why does this thing keep moving? What the fuck? Fifty Shades of Snowbeard. <laughs> Quit moving the thing. I'm trying to read it. <laughs> <laughs> He's yelling at the chat. <laughs> He's yelling okay, at the so, chat. See, so there was a bit of a wind that, that rumpled <laughs> one, of the, one of the edges and it moved the scroll. Apologies. He's yelling at, says, he's yelling at Whitey. <laughs> yeah, ap apologies, says old Whitey. He's not apologizing, apologizing to you, more so he's apologizing to the priests. They look like they're on the edge of their... Of their uh, um, the edge of their patience, and he points to the place where you got. You said, um, uh, to be beaten and to be killed by a spell sword in the name of the old gods of terror, the five his goddess, where this oath. <laughs> old Whitey turns to the priests. Um, the priest of the many gods, uh, like begins his blessings or whatever. The, 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 the priest of the five faced God is just staring at what, at, at Snowbeard and then finally acquiesces. And then they, they roughly pull down the, uh, the brasier that they gave you and, um, burn you with the gladiator's brand for three points of fire damage. Ow. Well done, well done, says Zemocles. And now he waits for some paperwork, he gets it. Yes, he gets one piece of paper with probably each of your names on it. Um, um, apparently in this place they can basically mint gladiators or elevate your status. This might just be a thing that increases your value when he does sell you. Yeah, we're like show dogs. We just got our, you know, <clears throat> our, our, our local title. Our yep. reading papers. Uh, uh, yeah, or or that or that the fighting that you've done in this pit is official. Like you are part of the league of the Imperial Circus. You scored champion points. You get enough of them. Yeah. You should have his lips branded. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's getting pretty evil, man. <laughs> 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 you don't want to piss off Chad. They're giving me all sorts of evil ideas. Um, okay. Uh, Zamicles does um, um, load you guys up into the wagon. Apparently, they let you let Arlen keep his um, his holy symbol. <clears throat> okay. 
They haven't taken it back. Um, Sam could go over and collect the armor that was that was stripped from him when he was um, uh, when he was whipped. Uh, yeah. They they didn't move it. It's still sitting in a pile. Okay, uh, I'll go grab it. Okay. They don't let you stand there and put it on, but they they kind of just force you back into the uh, uh, into the wagon. Zamacles um, does ha does say goodbye to the Master Conjurer. There there might have been some transaction that went on the night before, um, and the five of you are now loaded into the wagon. Um, the dwarf takes up much more space than Thalana does. And you are set along the road. At one point when you leave this day, <clears throat> um, the caravan does stop. Zamacles does talk with the guards a little bit about possibly going north. Um, th but the best slaves are there, the strongest. They're close to where the fighting is occurring. Um, and some of his slaves and soldiers convince him to say, stay to the southern roads and not traverse northwise. Um, um, he eventually agrees and says, Oh, fine, I will collect my slaves from the market. Next stop, the slave market, boys. Make some room in that cozy little wagon of yours. He still doesn't trust you enough yet. You still are given bindings, and you're still like like bound to a uh, bound to a post for the. Oh yeah, uh, Snowbeard and Murder ride. given the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they may not. They may not trust. Uh, they may not trust. Uh, At the too, market, too can well. we get a minstrel or maybe a poet or something? We could use some some music for the road. Do any of you know how to sing? None of you? Oh, well. No. Let's see, Arlen. Arlen's got... Arlen Don't would worry. be the best singer, but he's got no rights. Of all entertainers, actors and singers are... Well, is likely lower than that of prostitutes, he says. <laughs> Sam had an inquisitive look on his face for a moment, and then did, he didn't say anything about it. He glances and he notices Sam smiling. Hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> there are many rewards that we can give you if you perform well in the arena. I have half a mind to sell all of you to the next um, gladiatorial ludus that is interested in you. Or perhaps I will start my own ludus. As long as he doesn't reward us with kisses. Oh, oh you noticed my lips, did you? I bought a new shade. How could you not? <laughs> They're the only thing I can see. <laughs> <laughs> he goes... It's, it's, why are they so soft? Shouldn't they be hard? Us Dragonborn do know how to breathe. Horrible energies. I tend not to. I like the way it feels when it's all stored up. It looks like Ugg punched you in the mouth. <laughs> hmm, doesn't it? How is your hand feeling, Ugg? Hmm. That was dumb, by the way. <laughs> oh, you already I... negotiated 20 lashes. The fact it didn't work doesn't mean you have to relinquish that. It just said, hey, tough luck, buddy. Instead, you get your property damaged? Uh... He's still alive. Yeah, he's got a busted hand, though. It's a long way to the slave market. Well, I guess I'll get some shit eye then. Hmm. He smiles. No kisses. No <laughs> 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 kisses now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't think you've escaped punishment, Snowbeard. 
I don't know what atrocity you were trying to name yourself, but it is not your place to give yourself a gladiatorial name. And besides, my little halfling will not be molested by you, I nor spat to... upon. Oh, yeah, I did do that. I'll have to think up something while we're on the road. Perhaps oh, something will inspire me. Hmm. Oh, one can only imagine. You know, Joram, I'm really, really sorry. You know, I once saw a bounded monk who was so serious about his vow of silence that they stitched his lips up like a boot. Question. Yeah. And I once saw. How how did he eat? Through a straw. Okay. Well, I once <laughs> saw a dwarf defecate into the mouth of another dwarf that he did not like after knocking him out. Yes, dwarves are such dirty creatures, aren't they? Sam is just going to inch down the <laughs> bench. <laughs> <laughs> I shall have a think about this. Perhaps we'll find a dwarf who's eaten, I don't know, a bag full of jalapenos. What in the hell is a jalapeno? It's a spicy thing. From Stygia, of course. Damn Stygians and their weird food. Hmm. I rather like them. Yeah, you would, you freak. <laughs> this one is going to get all of you into a lot of trouble. He's I not part of our team, he just showed up! <laughs> I suggest you fix him. Blue chipper. Xamicles <laughs> <laughs> wanders off. Uh, you talk too much, says Ugg. You're going to get whipped, or worse. Eh, uh, well, we'll see what he comes up with for spitting on, uh, you know, what's his name? It's going to get all of us in a less than perfect situation. What? We're slaves. It doesn't get much worse than this. <laughs> no, there's the, the defecating and the thing and the stuff. That, that's worse. <laughs> Okay, the caravan's all ready to go. Also, not a but, slave. But you they might be a slave, I'm not a slave. But they seem to be waiting just outside of town. Yeah, you're a slave. I'm not a slave. There you're is a, a rider that comes riding, and he's got a sack over, over, over his saddle. The sack's moving a little bit. Uh, a soldier comes up. Two soldiers come up to the rider. One of them takes a book. The other one takes the sack. Um, they open up the cage, they toss in the sack, he rides with you. Hey, buddy! Let me sit next to him, please, no, let me sit gonna, next I to will, him. I, I will punch you so hard, you wouldn't believe I punched you so hard. You can stay over there! Edward pulls the strings in the sack, and there's a uh, there's a very dirty and sad looking Undwin. <laughs> they don't even bother chaining him up; they just close the door and lock it. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Uh, I, I, I'm not supposed to be a slave. Yeah, that's what we all said. My family paid for my schooling. Shut up. Don't worry, kid. You're only a slave if you want to be a slave. I don't want to be a slave. I'm not a slave. I'm a gladiator. Uh, just, Why am just, I in here with you? Is what just so saying. you know, he's a slave. <laughs> Why am I in here with you? I tried hard. He's the one that blew up the laboratory. Yeah, I feel I feel, I feel the need to confess right now that yeah, I did blow up the laboratory. I, I blew up you. the laboratory. <laughs> there's one. There's one guard that comes up to him. Shut up, kid, and gives him a little, like a little jab with the end of his pole arm. It's one of the Stygian guards. Uh, oh. It he, is actually fair to say you would not be in this predicament right now had I not blamed you for that. So I guess I owe you an apology for that. 
which you might actually get someday, but not today. <laughs> uh, it is all right. Uh, we will look after you, uh, uh, Anduin. Anduin, the underwhelming. Anduin, the underwhelming. Uh, shot to the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Don't be like that. <laughs> we can drink his tears. <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> Sorry, I was just stretching. Uh, okay. <laughs> Unwin does face the opposite way and kind of holds onto the bars and weeps for the next hour or so quietly oh, to himself as to not as to not to raise the uh, ire of, of uh, Snowbeard. <laughs> no one's judging you for crying, kid. Don't worry. I mean, I would too. Never going to see your parents again, your family. Likely going to die a gruesome, painful the death. Shot the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> you have some problem with reality. <laughs> oh, it's just really cramped in here. It's, it feels good to stretch, doesn't it? Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, I feel a thought coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Block that. <laughs> uh, Arlen puts his hand on his shoulder and says a blessing to Freya and Elvin, uh, which sounds kind of comforting. Um, um, he actually casts a spell, like a guidance spell or something hey, like that. Hey, Undwin, isn't that one of them pagan gods that sends you to the bad place? I don't, I don't worship any pagan gods. No, well, you're taking their blessings. <laughs> okay, he shirks away from Arlen. Arlen, Arlen gives you this dirty look from the other end of the cart. Uh, Samuel turns and gives him a shot in the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at this point, it's like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I do not think that you're trying to make many friends here, uh, uh, Snowbeard, or whatever you tried to call yourself. That was amusing. You almost got, got thrown into the mines. I, I like to walk a fine line uh, and then occasionally step over it. But as for the making friends part, you're foolish to make friends. <clears throat> he points to Sam. You might have to kill this guy tomorrow. Okay. Uh, There's this long, drawn out silence as everyone ponders. <laughs> Snowbeard's very apt. Um, We're. Uh, we're on the same team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you get the yeah, we're on the same team. The we're, on the same same team. team. <laughs> we're on the same team till you get sold. Who do you get sold to? Yeah. Well, if we end up having to fight each other, he's looking at Ugg, then one of us will be the victor, the other one will see Cord and also be the victor. So there's victory for everyone. You are a delusional little man. I have to tell you, I admire your spunk. But not the delusions. <laughs> Arlen, Arlen retreats to do his prayers inside of his robe to himself. <laughs> Facing away from you. Unwin <laughs> um, stops sobbing. He's just looking at all of you. Um, he try, he looks away whenever Snowbeard meets his meets his glance. Does, does he have like the wristbands or the? He does not. He does not have the he has brand to fight. He has of to the fight. Uh, uh, the gladiator. He doesn't have to the wristbands. He was on the winning team of a fight. <laughs> they did not indoctrinate him into gladiatorial status. You don't know what's okay. going on with him. They just they just stuff them into the into the back with the gladiators. Maybe Phineas gets a new assistant. <laughs> so, kid. Yeah. If you are one of us now, don't know if you are, uh, yeah. what you need to do is make friends with big guys, and he's pointing at, like, Ugg and himself, and then help them from behind them. He nods. Wizards stand in the back, he says. Right. Like, like it's and something that always... <laughs> and, and, and meat shields, and he's pointing to himself and Ugg, stand in the front. Hey. Do you remember... Um... You you meet Shield too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. Snowbeard knows what he is. Snowbeard knows what he is, but he's a well, sort of a conjurer. He knows damn well they can conjure them things right behind you, kid. They kid. Yeah, if they're close enough. 
I mean, right. the good conjurers can do it from far away, but the, the ones that are like me need to be very close. Yeah. So what's the biggest thing you can conjure? Gerald? Was it Doug? He nods. You conjured that friggin' puppy? <laughs> During the fight? <laughs> I, I thought he could help. I don't like the things that the master conjures. The, he conjures them from hell, I think. <laughs> uh, the puppy. He brought the puppy. <laughs> I thought it was a cute puppy. That's the that's the, uh, but for a gladiatorial fight. Oh, no wonder he kicked you in. No. What's going on with an imp? Huh? Oh, big boss has basically been talking about spying on us with an imp, an imp minion from the pit fiend. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Make perception checks. <laughs> I'll roll with it. Oh yeah. Uh, ooh. Uh, I think it. Twenty-eight. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, Sam as, knows what's up. as you as you guys are going down the road, you notice that there was this weird smudge in a tree. Like you thought there was a bird there, or maybe a little critter, but there was just nothing. It was just like the air was kind of smudged. Well, this is Sam, and then you heard like as the as the wagon kept on creaking, you heard like knowledge planes. Uh, you have to see the creature to identify it. So, you... damn it, there was a thing in the tree. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I saw it. Um... All right, um, I'm going to switch the map. Or like the the uh, the map tools map to the world map that I created, as you guys are on the road again, uh, the road of sorrow, of course. The, the map again. also has all of the caravan. Like there's a token for every living thing and wagon in the caravan, and I want to show you guys that. I'll be right back as I switch the map. So what is the over under on Snowbeard? It, it shouldn't be very good. <laughs> he has no right to be alive right now. <laughs> he has no right to be alive. This would be correct. Uh, I would agree wholeheartedly with the should be dead. Not dead. It's interesting that you're not dead. It's amazing I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, that fight? That that fight there was I, two, I thought two I thought... lucky criticals. What, what, the, the kitty yeah. pounced, and then it's like, okay, I've got one attack to kill it before it kills Arwen. <laughs> yeah, it was it was ugly. I thought, <laughs> had he summoned even a second one, that would have been it. Yeah. It was, yep. are, you getting, are you getting errors? I'm getting errors. On? Mantles? Yeah. Uh, I am on conversation. I'm now going to the Road of Sorrow. Uh, I will join you here. I see many tokens, and they're very pretty. And it's apparently saying, Unwin saying, is out there already. It's saying, receive invalid image. And so is... Oh, is your... Do you have enough memory allocated? That is, I, got, I got a caravan. Yep. Oh, Arlen just, or the uh, the kid just disappeared. A ton of errors on my end. <laughs> um. Conversation. F -f -f Foxfire is talking about uh, chat just being all extra planar beings, just spying on your characters. That's, hilar <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, that they're spending hero points and stuff, so. Okay, I'm gonna have to exit map tools on my end. For some reason, loading this map just crap. Uh, did you put a really big map on here? There is a very big map on there. Uh, how much memory do you allocate? A gig. 
a gig, I, I allocate two gig. Mark, how much do you allocate? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I hit map tools and go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I would assume Mark has a gig. For, for, for the record, I'm getting the uh, the caravan, so 